Saw this yesterday morning. Is it going to burn off at some point today or is it going to linger? It is. It's going to thin out here in southern Colorado along the I-25 corridor, but it's going to hold tight well out to our east. Now here's a live look at Alamosa. Beautiful sunrise here in the San Luis Valley. Your temperatures down into the low 30s right now, and it really depends on where you are because another live look at it, Lyman and Lincoln okay. County, you can see we've got that lowering cloud deck right there at the surface. Visibility is not too impaired, but they are going to be low in spots and you may run into that patchy, dense, freezing fog. We've got 15 Lamar and Springfield, 13 Burlington. We're in the low 20s here, Colorado Springs and Pueblo, actually 39 right now in Salida and above the freezing market, 33 in the San Luis Valley. Wind Winds are light and variable here along the I-25 corridor. You can see them coming out of the southeast, and we've got 10 mile an hour winds and freezing fog in Springfield this morning. That makes it feel even a little bit colder. Forecast highs for this afternoon. We climb into the low and mid 40s, low and mid 50s down to our south, but where those clouds are slow to burn off, if at all, we're talking about temperatures in the teens around Burlington, low 30 Springfield, 47 Salida, 38 in Alamosa this afternoon. We will once again see some scattered snow showers up in the high country. This is Leadville, west of Salida and up to the north of the I-70 corridor there. We'll see a few of those showers kind of dip down to the south. Uh, the Sangre de Cristos looking at some light snow showers this afternoon and tonight and the western slope certainly seeing some of those showers. Westerly zonal flow Wednesday and Thursday. It's not warm, but it does keep us in the 40s through the day on Thursday. And then that colder air up to the north is going to leak into southern Colorado. And we've got some downright frigid temperatures as we go into the weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. 6 a.m. tomorrow morning, there's that overnight batch of snow. It drifts down to the south. And then we'll see kind of scattered snow showers once again as we go into the afternoon. You see Colorado Springs and Pueblo with partly cloudy skies. This is at 5 a.m. coming up on Thursday morning again mainly cloudy in the mountains out to our west overnight lows tomorrow morning once again patchy freezing fog likely Springfield at 13 5 in Burlington 8 Lyman upper teens and low 20s here uh, in Colorado Springs and Pueblo afternoon highs again mostly sunny in Alamosa 45 47 Salida partly cloudy in 44 for Pueblo more cloud cover and holding on to those cold temperatures 31 in Springfield tomorrow afternoon all right Woodland Park here we go. Relatively mild for January weather, February weather, excuse me, in the low 40s. But look at the temperatures drop off. A 40% chance for snow showers on Friday, 19 for your high Saturday, 6 below on Sunday morning, and an afternoon high of 20. Canyon City, again, in the low 50s through Thursday. Temperatures plummet, 18 for your high Saturday, 20 coming up on Sunday. Pueblo, the same story, mid and upper 40s for Wednesday and Thursday, but only 26 degrees with a few snow showers around on Friday afternoon and cold into the weekend, 15 and 16 Saturday and Sunday. Colorado Springs, the same story. Look at those weekend temperatures, 26 on Friday, 2 degrees Saturday morning to a high of 15, and by Sunday morning, we're down to 3 below zero. Hannah, over.